Welcome to Kathy D. Slats SRC for You Zoom call for July 22nd, 2021. To access the Zoom call, we're here on Kathy's website. We'll scroll down, look for the Zoom banner, which is right here, and we'll join the call. Now, this is an SRC software demonstration for entertainment purposes. She will put in her client group. If you would like to be part of her client group, you can click here, and it is a monthly fee. We'll click here to join the call. It'll take us over to the Zoom platform where we will allow. The call will be in session. We'll join with computer audio and we're live. A, uh, with our actual scan, because I want to show you some of these things, uh, the new things we're working on. And, and I'm still waiting to hear, I'll hear from Ralph today as to when Joanna and I can go and test the new mat. It is next week, so I don't know what day. But anyway, I went ahead. I, you see that we actually wanted to include our homes in this work today, and I still need to optimize that. But, uh, and then for the personal options, we wanted uh, the state. So that's in there. And then I went ahead and did an Excel spreadsheet just to see what specifically, and what was interesting, is parasites only because I'm writing a new fractal fairy tale about zombies and I'm um, talking about mind parasites you, just for fun. Could you enlarge so that? Oh, yes. And then infection, liver, weight, and bacteria. I think those are the ones that we see under. Yeah, those are the ones up to bacteria that we're wanting to go into the custom cocktails with. And then, um, get back to our, the, this, I did do the scan on the parasites and this goes up to <laughs> warts of all things. So that gives you, this is all extremely subtle it is etheric field stuff, and it is in here. And let's go ahead and optimize. So uh, I mentioned yesterday, we were talking a little bit about trance. And uh, what caught my attention to that is uh, so many people are blocking information. They absolutely refuse to look at certain information, uh, even objectively. And that, that got me curious. And I started with um, seeing what I could learn. And uh, what I learned is basically already in a trance all of us there are beneficial and non-beneficial trances and um what we want to do here's our true motivation uh, we want to know how how any of these unconscious processes that don't serve us got there and one of the interesting things is we now have technology for this the book i was looking at first was written in 94 and they didn't have access they probably had access but we people didn't have access to some of this technology and uh to understand one function of the src in particular being to show us a little bit about what's going on under the surface and uh and this is going to be posted uh, this kind of information on the energy visionaries group and i know that's a limited readership but that's where it will be as we continue um, that is where this beginning with this 80 page email information is, uh, if you can access it. Um, and then this was an interesting, uh, quote, a maker of idols is never an idolater. Um, in other words, if there is any kind of, uh, messing with our minds, chances are, uh, 
people who are involved also know how to protect their own minds. Uh, I found, though, we do want to go into a trance state for manifestation. There's a great connection if you pray, for example. That's like a trance state. If you do affirmations, if you chant, uh, drumming, etc., all these things. Uh, and if you are in a deep trance, it can alter reality because we are surrounded by every bit of information. It's quite an archive that you're going to see in a minute. We're going to have a code to see if we can access this. Uh, is this possible? There are those who know how to create a trance and are doing it to us. Well, uh, we've got some information on that. We know many entertainers, music, et cetera, uh, are familiar with this concept. Um, and here's the key. If you're in a trance, you accept limited choices. So those are the ones we don't want to be ensnared in. Uh, we don't want to be afraid of this because that blocks it. But I guess the key, while in a trance, you cannot defeat ignorance because people totally block any new information that doesn't go with whatever they are programmed for. So uh, just a few codes. Once you start looking at this, it gives you some thoughts. For example, we are surrounded by information. We know this. This group knows this for sure. Let's see how we resonate with actually accessing it. And there's our, by the way, our uh, statement. We resonated like 99% and went all the way up to the 102 with I now allow myself to have uh, perfect health. And that was, well, let's see, are we interested in accessing some of these vast archives that might teach us? Yeah, we are. A little bit of a chronic stress, but we are that might teach us how to have the perfect health we're talking about. Um, this was kind of an interesting thing. There are a lot of addictions, and uh, I didn't list all of them in here, but I found it interesting. Addiction to consciousness raising activities. Any addiction and we all have it. I, what I've learned, maybe uh, some of you others can give me some input, is literally 100% of us have an addiction. It's not like we're always thinking. Uh, I'm probably addicted to the SRC. So it just gives you some thoughts. And again, there's some chronic stress there. Let's go ahead, since, since this uh, the code is a good thing and we're clearing, let's just put that in there. Some, for example, might get addicted to going to psychics. Look at this, addiction tech to technology. And at some point, this will be some kind of a protocol. But right now, there's so much information. I really need some input from the rest of you as to what we're doing here. Okay, then that one's working out pretty well. One of the things they say that happens when you're in a trance is you are not aware of all the possibilities in life. Uh, you're in a, a trance, maybe you go to work every day, you come home, you turn on the TV. Maybe have, have yourself a pizza, um, you, got, you get the idea, or you come and you watch your YouTube. Or you, in other words, you get into some sort of a mindset and you're not realizing everything that really has been put in place for you. Let's see how we look with that one. A little bit of stress there. That's just... And it's all about awareness. For example, we have that uh, new, whatever they call it, video about these patents that were taken out 20 years ago, and a number of people will not even look at that information. They refuse to believe it, and they won't look. That's an indication of programming. And then we go into the brain waves. Again, all subtle stuff. Let's just see how we are at this moment in time. I 
on there with a little extra stress management on there. I don't know why these <laughs> came down there like that, but they did. Uh, this change in body awareness, for example, Lamaze, childbirth. Anybody in here have any experience with that? Hey. Yes. What would you think of it? I thought it was great, but unfortunately I had a stress situation with my mate, Philip Peter's dad the day that I went into labor and it kind of threw me off the Lamaze practice, but I think it's excellent for con controlling um, pain overall. <laughs> it didn't work for me in my labor. Oh, it's uh, I lost it, yeah. <laughs> I told him this is the biggest crock of you-know-what I ever saw. <laughs> Bring me something now, and they were laughing at me. It got to that at the end, yeah. It got like so that. I guess I was not uh, in a trance. Mm -hmm. But there are many people who very successfully uh, dead in pain. They have dental work and everything because they can. They have this gift of being able to go into a trance. Socially reinforced habits can become a trance. And they're not all bad, like shaking hands, things we do automatically. But there are some that may not be beneficial. Got that one in there. Same thing with economically reinforced habits. I'm going to look at um, credit, which I see as slavery. And if we are able to actually access more information, why can't we manifest the money we need? Why do we have to do the credit? I understand these different credit bureaus are lined up on the college campuses, getting these kids all caught up. And, and I work with a lot of people, you know, in terrible stress because of their debt. Is there another way? And there we go again. And this, this technology induced trance, as I mentioned yesterday, there are some laws about TV not being able to do this. Subliminal Where I think back in 1950, a person goes into a trance, and it's not anything to do with the words, it's the images and symbols that are flashing at them every few seconds. Is that true? I, I have to trust what I. Common sense, you know, when the book, The Secret, came out, um, I personally know people who said, oh, I'm going to manifest all these things, and actually went out and got new cars with loans on them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and let's just say it did not work out well. Consciousness, or conscious awareness. Perhaps impulse buying would be another issue. Yes, absolutely, and it, we... Um, that in this list of, of addiction, which it was so long, so many things we can be addicted to, that I thought we'd cover that another time. But yeah, that is one is where we become addicted 
do these material things. And it's just the same as if you grab that uh, Hershey candy bar. It, uh, now this one I thought was quite interesting. Um, control the imagined future. And we talk about this, that we can visualize, we can do our codes, our, our work in so many different ways. It just depends on which way works best for each individual. If we could do this, being in a non-beneficial trance would prevent it. Well, let's just look at that and see how we are. Let's just take a little boost. This is when you are in a, any kind of trance, your critical judgment is disabled. Neville Goddard. What's that? Neville Goddard. Yes, isn't he wonderful? That's probably my very favorite Absolutely. of all of them. You know, you know uh, Kathy, I lost it. I don't know what happened. I've been getting, I have been getting messages every day from, from them. Mm. I don't know what it, what happened to it. I'll have to look and look that yeah, up. Yeah, look and see. I don't. I'm not signed up for that. But um, he uh, he, the first book I read by him was only because it was on sale for a dollar at Barnes and Nobles. It's one of those days where I insisted I wasn't buying any more books and went there to meet a friend and bought that one. And um, I'll tell you quickly the story while we're scanning these. Um. You know, Neville Goddard says, if you want to manifest, as you drift off, imagine that what you want happened Absolutely. that day. Absolutely. Now, this is where when you're in some kind of a trance, you end up not doing it. You know to do it, and you just don't do it. And the ego probably plays a part in that as well. But um, I shared that information with a friend. Okay, here we could take a little balancing. Years ago, I had a client who said that she got into Delta all the, the time. And I had another friend that said only time she was on the Delta is if she was in Mississippi. So <laughs> I no, never forgot that. No, no, no. I don't know what to think. But regardless, um, a friend of mine, her, her stepfather had passed. And even though she was very close to him, he had left everything to his four kids up north that he never heard from. And she said to me, she said, you know, it's not so much about the material things, but I wish that, that I had been loved because she felt, you know, her mother had left everything to her stepfather. Now her stepfather had left everything to his kids and she was left out. You see, we are taken by the way, a little stress related to eliminating a prolonged trance. If looks like that's what you don't want even when it's a beneficial you, you, you don't want to live in it but anyway no. so i told her about this book yeah you know kathy um i i worked with uh, uh the, the neville goddard uh, process way back in the past and i know i'm going to say this real fast i was i was selling um uh time recorders in san diego california and uh back in the 80s and and, and during that time Nothing was happening, so um, every day I would go into, into a, a deep meditative state and visualize and imagine myself receiving a, a, a special reward at the end of the month. And um, lo and behold, when when it came to the end of the month, I, I hardly did anything at all, and and the reward was a, a set of uh, beautiful wow three piece. And um, so every day, I, every day I would imagine my, my my manager presenting the luggage to me, and I also imagined and pictured all the clothes he had on and everything. And at that, at the end of that month, we had a meeting, and he, he, he introduced uh, to us all the winner, and he said, "Run back, come on up here." I said, "What?" <laughs> so I went up. I went up, and when he, when he shook my hand to present the, the luggage to me. He had on the same clothes that I had visualized. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, so I mean, like, uh, uh, Neville Goddard is right. You know, yes, did, Ron, did you do this at night? Law. 
did you do this at night as you were drifting off or just at different oh, times of what day? What I did is I, I, when I wake up in the morning, I visualize it. And then uh, then at my lunch break in the afternoon and then also before I went off to sleep three times a day. And uh, um, and it works. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, you know, because right. you, we're, we're working with the universal law when we do that. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Well, in my friend's case, I, I had just gotten into this kind of work, and uh, she called and let me know that her stepfather had died and that this had happened. And I said, you know I'm crazy, right? And she said, yes. So I said, why don't you try, when you go to bed at night, imagine a new will is found and that you are mentioned. And she said, well, we've already gone through everything. She was the only one with the key to the condo. She said, we've already been through everything. We have the will, da 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 da, da. And But she said she would try it. A few days later, she called. She was hyperventilating. Uh, she had gotten this idea during the day that those kids were not going to get her mother's grandfather clock. And she called her man friend who had a truck. And off they went to get in the condo to... Um, get that clock and she was standing back looking at it now the thing about this woman this is an immaculate woman that notices everything if she had come to my house and i had had starbucks and the cup was in the trash she'd say oh starbucks again she didn't miss things and so what happened uh what is this oh integrated awareness we want to work on that a little extra and so what happened when they went back her man friend said don't you want to look one more time for a will she said no he, he said what's this right here there was an envelope on the dining room table it said will and she received the condo the car and an amount of cash whoa wow now, we will never forget that story is it possible i don't know but I know it did happen. Is it possible that she went into another dimension where she had been remembered? A little bit of stress related to intention, which again is weakened when you're in a trance state. And some of this is just being on planet Earth I, I, some of you will know this name. I don't know the name, but it's the name for the trance we're all in anyway. And <laughs> just because we're on earth starts with an M. Does anybody know that term? I'll have to look it up again, but it is. So. When you are in a trance, your logic may be impaired. Mesmerized, do you? Yeah, if that's not the word. I'll have to look the word up, but it's a word for, for all of us when we're on planet Earth as to a type of trance we're already in. Huh. I figured somebody else would know it, so I didn't write it down. Loss of volition. I guess I better get back and add that in. Anyway, all the Neville Goddard stuff, I believe, uh, is free. Isn't that right, Ron? It's on YouTube and different sites, and it's free. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I was I was receiving it um, uh, messages every day because the woman who took over the, the Neville Goddard stuff, her name is Indoma, and uh, um, every day I would get get the messages from him. And uh, I really loved every bit of it. And then all of 
a sudden, one day, I realized, you know, hey, wait a minute, I'm not getting them anymore. In fact, this just uh, um, appeared to me just maybe okay. two or three days ago. So I sent her an email. I hope she uh, emails me back because I, I still want that information every day. So uh, yeah, a lot you know, of people once, think, you know, that Joe Dispenza and some other very big names, that's actually what they're modeled after. Yeah. Is Neville Goddard. Yeah. So, no, I, I admired uh, Neville Goddard. And, the, and the, first, the first book I read from him, that really got me excited, and so on. Um, I bought them all, all through the whole thing, and I got three or four of those books now. So. Yep. Look at this one. Put the company of people before time spent on computers. Let's see how we look with that. And again, that may not be a big amount of stress for the group, but I think it may be for the collective. Let's see how we are. Maybe we got a little stress. <laughs> yeah. I spent a lot of time on it. Uh, remove bad trances. We did that today. I tried to put this in alphabetical order so that as this list grows, I don't keep repeating. But you're going to see it's been mind controlled and guided. That's not our focus. Our focus is to understand our power. Now, here we go. Uh, remove bad trances. We could use a little. And again, it, that may be where the ego steps in. We know these programs. We know about that credit card. We know about all these other things that we may not want to let go of. A pathological trance would be uh, addi certain addictions, um, even even those who are in psychosis are in a, a sort of trance. That's the kind of thing we're talking about. I did add it to the list. Yesterday, I sent out a notice on a fungus that took over ants' minds and forced them to behave in certain ways. Whoa. It's a fascinating study. And Scientific American will come out with the article in September. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm catching up with email. The um, yeah, Candida they say has a consciousness, and and so here here's where we kind of get into the heart uh, to see what is hidden. Which, if you are in a state of trance, that will not happen. For example, even maybe a cure to a disease. Well, you do know that when you enter into a, a theta, theta level in mind, um, that's the best level for doing healing work. Yep. And, of course, we have a code. That's, that's the idea. We are going to go into trance for manifestation if we choose to. We don't even know we're doing it, but we're focused probably. But um, you don't want to go into trance when you're out with your credit card and start buying like a crazy person. And you notice one of our codes was end consumer abuse because much of this, uh, much of this is uh, the symbols and images in the commercials. So here, here's the key, understand the hidden underlying mechanisms that guide thoughts and actions. That's, that's really what we want. And it's, it's not going to be limited to a trance state there's there's so much involved here and that's why we have to do a little bit more work to put this together um and you would think that the energy group would already resonate with this let's see where we are yep um, understand the unconscious mind. From what I read, Freud really messed things up because he talked about this unconscious mind being so evil. 
and all your bad stuff came from that. And uh, they have now found that pretty much everything he taught was was incorrect, but he was very promoted by the big boys. And then it was his nephew, uh, Edward Bernays, who came to America to educate the communications industry on how to manipulate and then wrote a book about it. So we, we have that evidence. We have that evidence. Let's just go ahead and put this on the share so we could get a little extra boost. And of course, who couldn't your whole life understand the unconscious mind? I don't know how we ever could really. Um, understand the unusual. This is another thing when you are in a trance, uh, you're, you have tunnel vision. And it used to be, as you know, there was a time when people who were unusual, they were just burned at the stake. Now they're just called conspiracy theorists. And that was that that term was coined by the CIA in 1961. And that that to me anyway, would be an example of a socially engineered trance, where we are too afraid to speak up for fear of being seen as a conspiracy theorist. And then finally, I think this maybe not, no, it's not the last one, unearthed dormant capabilities. How much more could we do? We don't know. For example, the power to heal. I had to put this one in here. We are more than lab rats. And then finally, willpower, which again, uh, seems to uh, go away when you are in a trance, a non-beneficial trance. So if we have this information, and we've got our other stuff in here, Look at that, we wanna preserve these options, that's a zero. So we wanna focus on this stuff for a while. Okay, and our theme is liver. Let's see which Pro Tools we're asking for today. Just the Shigong. many issues. You might recall blood obstruction that was also in the state scan. So it's already over here. Uh, let's just go in and balance the nervous system. Sweat glands comes up quite a bit. Lungs, stress, let's just look at lung vitality. Interesting delusional projection. What are we imagining? And uh, let's just look at this and see where we are with that. Uh, 
how many times I've heard the the term that that everything that's that that we see in every and everything is an illusion. Yeah. Oops. We are realizing too, Dr. from scientific studies, that what the ancients talked about, now they can validate. Okay. This is interesting in that we're working on uh, you know, accessing the unconscious, this one doesn't make a lot of uh, <laughs> sense. But in a clothing store, wonderful bargains for men with 16 and 17 necks. <laughs> Morality, strength to speak your truth with spiritual inspiration. Let's see where we are with that at this time. Doing good as a group. Oh, there is no good or bad. It's just, you see, super conscious, pray to, ego, withdraw, and then our, our torsos. This is the other thing. It's, it's looking like more and more our digestion is such a factor in our thoughts. And that's really what we're working with is our thoughts and to create that future that we imagine instead of letting somebody else create it for us. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. Yes. What, what would you like to put in the uh, Shigong? Shigong? We're gonna be running it three different times, but what, anybody have any thoughts? We came up with some different themes in here. And we got plenty of cocktails in there. I've got a lot. Let's just take a look. Oh, and also let's just look in here. Um, we looked at read labels yesterday and uh, just for the heck of it. And that didn't, should have been a nine there. probably could scan some of this stuff. Let's just look in here if you can see it. Um, you want to work on abundance since we have all these new mats coming out? Exactly. Or let's just see our other choices. Alignment with higher self. All necessities are provided. All systems. Weakness which we'd like would clear um, any and all dark negative energy, da, 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 da. There's quite a few in here. Any thoughts off the top of your head? Armed against the enemy schemes. That's definitely related right. to France. All right, let's start with that one. That kind of fits in, doesn't it? Oh, perfect. Yeah, it is. Look at that, 24 hours. Wow. And there we go. So that's it for today. Any other thoughts? Oh, that was lovely. That was perfect. As soon as we have a protocol, you know, with more codes in here, want to look at the positive. Uh, me anyway, there really isn't a negative. We're at a time a lot of people are saying of such enlightenment. 
And whereas it used to be that was an individual thing, now it's not. It's, we're coming together as a collective. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be wonderful to imagine? I'd like somebody to try this. Yeah. Uh, run a session on yourself and then the find options load affirmations. Yes, that I don't know if I still have that one. Should have. I know, I don't know though. Let me see. I may have to have you give that to me again. You mean actually ask the questions or have the find options box load the affirmations. Oh, is there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You know what? I can't get that down now. Let me, this is so frustrating. At the bottom. Yeah. Let me. Thank you for the. Oh, I do have it. Okay. Affirmations. I see. These are all positive things. Oh, I think I have it in this one, but not the other one. Thank you, thank you. Kevin put a link for us to Neville Goddard if you want it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that one. I'll catch it later. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell you another quick Neville Goddard story to it. Uh, with a client, I, I had some people chip in and do a little, um, they paid a fee for a woman to come in and see me that was in a profound depression. She had apparently years ago divorced her husband who was a minister and she had, um, ever since then, the, the string of men she had met was terrible and she was of course blaming herself and she just had another breakup and they were really concerned for her mental health. So I ran this by her. I said, how about when you go to bed at night, you imagine that that was your wedding day. Now don't put a face on the man, but your husband is laying in bed next to you. Your wedding gown is hanging in the closet. Uh, you can hear you're in a big fancy hotel, so you hear people by the pool, you hear the ocean. In other words, they say the more sensory, the more sensory in your imagination, the better. And, you know, I've told, I can't tell you how many people about this and, and very few do it. She did it within six months. She met and married an emergency room physician. They are still married. Wow. Isn't that so cool? Well, yes. quick story. Very cool. cool. Number one is right. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I love this one. Why am I so wealthy? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I'll take you it. Hey. <laughs> So now what do you do? What would you recommend doing with this, Kevin? Now now that I'm so wealthy. Well, you you could run the entire list because they're all positive. Run the entire list? Okay, yay. Why am I so healthy? Exactly. There's a that. put that sucker in there. All right. Well thank you. I love all that. I like that. So now we're now we're set. And if I'm not too wealthy to be on and the you, you could And then you could enhance the options and preserve it and then wonder click. But you, of course, you want to optimize first. Enhance? Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You know, enhance options right here. Yes, enhance options and preserve. There's a be a green check there. Okay, and now wonder click. All right. It'll be interesting. Enhancements, okay, hundred percent. So I need to find a new interest. Would that be it? 
<laughs> it could be. I'll, I'll have to scan that. I'll let y'all know tomorrow. This is pretty cool. Thank you, Kevin. You're welcome. That's great. Yeah, all right. Fun. I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you. Kevin. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, Kathy. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good day, Kathy. concludes the SRC for you Zoom call for July 22nd, 2021. Thank you for attending. We look forward to seeing you again. Till then, take care and be well.